welcome to another video from the Children's Museum of New Hampshire. My name is Meredith and I have a fun art project to share with you today. Um, this is called tin foil printing and it's a really fun way to make some um, really neat prints and practice some printmaking um, with things that I am sure you have at home. So the uh, things that you will need for this project are a little piece of um, paperboard. This would be something from like a cereal box or a cracker box. One of those, um, not cardboard, but thin board. I think cardboard would work okay too, actually. A piece of aluminum foil that you want to cover that. That's your um, printing piece, your printing paper. And you just want to fold that foil over your piece of cardboard or paperboard and then tape it on. And I just used scotch tape and that worked fine. You need a paintbrush. It doesn't have to be a foamy one like this, but some kind of paintbrush. Uh, paint and some little Q-tips and some paper. This can be any color paper. I just have white paper here. So the first thing you wanna do is put your paint in some kind of little cup or um, plate or something to have. And you're going to put some paint on your print, little printing press here and you're going to spread it out so that it's not too thick um, and you kind of want to do this quickly because because you're not doing it too thick it's going to dry pretty fast so you want to do spread that out all over your printing board here and then when that's all spread out, I think you can probably see that it's not that thick. You can kind of see the lines where the paintbrush was. Um, that's about what you want. Then you want to invite little ones to, obviously they can do that part, but you want to invite them to um, use their Q-tip and draw something on their design. So they could do a design or they could do a little picture like a cat <laughs> okay so they could do a little picture then once you've drawn your picture you want to take a piece of paper and press it on top and smooth it around and then, my dog is mad that I drew a cat, not a dog. So then you want to pull your paper off. And you have this very cool uh, print. And you could do something like a picture, like this cool cat. Or you could just do designs. Whatever you can do while um, thinking quickly. It's kind of a challenge to see how fast you can draw a design on here and then make your print because we don't want that paint to dry. And then you'll have be left with something like this. Not great to make another print. But the nice thing is because you used aluminum foil, you can use um, a, a sponge or a rag or something, wipe this off, dry it, and then put your paint on and make another print and keep doing this over and over and over again. So I hope you have fun with tinfoil printing today. If you make some prints, feel free to share a picture or video of you creating. We'd love to see what you're working on. And we will see you again soon. Bye.